Say down, Chase. Chase. Ooh, it's raining. Hey, what they do set apart gardens, family? Hey, today, ooh, let me get some light. Today, got a new, some new additions. We doing an animal haul, right? So I came up on the deal. I got a mist, two mystery animals coming to the farm. So if y'all haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and tune in. All right, let's go. All right, so while we are riding, I have a question to propose to all adult human beings. It don't matter if you're black, white, it don't matter what race, it don't matter what gender. I got a question. Do you think you are free? I'm gonna give you a minute to answer. I'm gonna give you a second to answer. All right, if you answer yes, if you are free, would you be able to survive without the aid and assistance of the government, large corporations, large grocery store chains, restaurant chains, would you be able to survive without those entities? And if the answer is no, if you don't know how to grow your own food, if you don't know how to butcher, harvest your own meat, if you don't know how to dig a well or, or, or uh, harvest your own fresh water, rainwater, whatever the case may be, to provide for your basic necessities, if you don't know how to build your own shelter, how can you say you're free? How can you say you're free? So I want you to marinate on that. Y'all, so we just arrived. Ah. She a little upset. I can see that. Her mom. Uh huh. Some coastal, but they don't know. Hey, come get this tray, and they'll come with up to. DJ, come on, come here. Let's let's get the tray. Uh, here, right there. Take that tray over there and them little babies will come right up. Here. You want to try it? Here. Here, grab it. Grab it. Take that out here and down. No, no, take no, the whole tray. Take the whole tray, yeah. Pick this up like this. Yeah, there you go. Come on, I'll walk with you a little ways and we'll set it down. Just want to take a look at the guard. DJ, you having fun? Ooh, that's got camera. DJ, look at the camera. Shop building back there. Oh, okay, I see it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's all grown up. The, the okra. Uh -huh. It's been close to you. We have birds out here. Oh, okay. Just one time. Okay. Yeah, me picking. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the okra, I'll pick you some if you want to dry it for seeds. Mm -hmm. Oh, it yeah. Okinawan okra. Oh, from Japan. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so it is red. You know how everyone's talking about the purple uh, sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and all that? This is uh, the same thing. It's supposed to be healthier for you. Okay. They're, they're unreal. Wow. They I taste. Think. They taste yes. great. Yeah. Wow. I might have he's to taste one of them. Seed. He's supposed to. And so, like, do you plant them straight in the ground, or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I hear okra, you got to plant straight in the ground. You can't really transplant them. It's, it's better. It gets us better footage. Okay. Uh, have organic. Yeah. They send in their seeds into there, and then you can buy them, mm -hmm. and you can sell into them also. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely dry a couple of them out for seed and taste a couple of them as well. They, uh, because, uh, he was going to mow this down and till it under. So what all, what all did y'all plant for this seed? But the seed is... And then I eat them raw. Yeah. Okay. They had to stop and get something to eat, y'all. Sally Mays. Kitchen. Statesboro, Georgia. I got it on me. You what? I got it on me. DJ, you want to eat food? What you want to eat? Well, I want to eat dessert. Dessert. That's what he wants, dessert. All right, let's go. Forgot to let y'all know, merch 
set apart guard and shirts. Got the logo on the back too. Okay, yeah. hey, thank you. You're welcome. What you got? Strawberry. Strawberry what? He finally got this ice cream he been hounding me about. Man, things we do for our kids. But man, that is a beautiful you. Two beautiful yous. The solid white one and the uh, brown and white one. Man, she's beautiful and potentially pregnant. That's the surprise. She might be pregnant. Hopefully she is. Hopefully we having twins. That's gonna multiply my flop by like two or three. I'm already adding two U's. So I got so now I'm gonna have a total of one ram, four U's. So breeding season come around, baby lambs everywhere. Yep. Baby lambs everywhere. But man, um, I'm gonna get to the house and unload these. I'm gonna show y'all how I unload them off. It's gonna be real simple. I'm gonna just back the tailgate, back up into the fence, open the little hatch. Oh, also I gotta show y'all my uh new livestock cage um i'm gonna leave a link for it in the description it's made by uh targer um and it's very very nice the um the gentleman i bought these from he was actually complimenting me on it he loved it so much uh because you can just put it on the back of your pickup or you can put it on the back of a trailer and all you do it got a little hatch a little door that you can slide open and slide it close and lock it and all you got to do is uh is, is put the sheep in or the animals goat sheep hog whatever you put in there and then you close it. It's simple and it's lightweight. I, I can lift it on there myself. I can lift it on the back of my tailgate myself and it's durable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below. But all right, man, let's get these sheep offloaded and get to the house, man, and relax. All right, let's go. DJ. DJ. Stop. Stop, DJ. Stop, please. Ooh. That's a big one. Ooh. DJ, DJ. If I have to tell you again, you gotta get out. I got the hook for the hook for the uh, video. Open the gate, open the gate. <laughs> Even if it's just your voice, cause I don't know how how shaky the camera was. All right, y'all. So if you ever, if you need something that's very affordable to transport smaller livestock, small to medium sized livestock, like sheep, goats, hogs, um, animals like that, this right here, it's called a goat golf. It's called a goat golfer. Or a goat cage. I bought this from my local feed store, but as you guys can see, as you guys can see, this is Tartar brand, Tartar farm and ranch equipment. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below if you want to buy one of these. You can put it on the bit uh, on the bed of your pickup truck. It's very convenient. It locks in right here, and this door right here it slides open and closed and it locks got a little locking mechanism so this is very convenient i fit i fit it two sheep in there comfortably i could have fit a third one in there um if i wanted to a third one 
that was around the same size. So this right here, I definitely recommend it. All right. With that, man, I'm gonna get in the house and relax. But I wanna say thank you for watching this video. If you got this far, if you haven't already, man, please hit that like and subscribe button. Matter of fact, I ain't even finna ask no more, man. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, man. Quit playing with me. We are growing. We are growing, man. Um, join the Sap Gardens family, man. We all family over here. We're getting back to the land, getting black to the land. Black people back to the land, man. And um, like I always say, man, if you give somebody the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you. So go ahead, leave a comment down below what you liked about this video. Peace, blessings.